All right, so what are the the pros and cons of a solo proprietorship and some uh, things about when deciding if it's the right uh, fit for your business? So the first thing is that is not really hard to start and and keep going. All right, you don't really have to deal with a bunch of 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 official red tape no fancy paperwork or or fees you just can start and run your business it's cheap to begin you don't really need to shield out the big box to kick things off so no registration fees or anything uh, you're the boss uh you can call the shots you make all the decisions and keep all the profits it's it's all about you baby you know tax made uh taxes made simple as well so for this one is just that you have you pay taxes on your business income just like regular personal taxes it can be easier and and lighter on your wallet compared to other business setups now here are some downsides too. No safety net, so your personal st uh, stuff isn't. Uh, sh 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 uh, so what's the where I'm looking for? Uh, shielded from business debts and legal masses. If things go south, your car, your home, and saving savings could be up for grabs. Money troubles, it can be a pain to raise cash. Leaders are a bit um, uh, skittish because of that personal liability thing. Uh, growing big can be a real, a, a real challenge. It's, it's like juggling everything on your own. So it's going to take a lot of time to grow. So I'm not saying it's not possible. I know some people, they're grew their business to, to a lot of money but it just takes a lot of work so uh, which which really um, and, and that being said that really um, you really have to remember no work no pay so if you take time off your earnings they uh, take a, a um, um a, a nose dive you know your vacations and sick days aren't a walk in the park so mm, in a nutshell it's a good pick if you're starting a small low risk business on a, a shoestring budget but watch out for personal liability risk and here are some extra uh, extras to 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 mull over so your business type so if you're running uh, a risky business like a construction or medicine you might want to check out other setups i am setups like l l c or corporation to shield your personal goods uh if you're aiming for world domination a solo proprietorship might not cut it you know big businesses are tough to handle solo and got a lot of personal assets uh, here you might want to look in other setups to keep them safe from problems and as i said remember that it's gonna take a lot of time to work it's gonna take a lot of time to see any results and if you don't work you won't see any results right so make sure you are digging deep make sure you start working hard because otherwise you won't see any results and prepare yourself don't just start that business don't just start that business you know make sure you do your own research and obviously this content of this video is just for general information only so it's not a substitute for professional advice so before making any business decision, consult with a qualified attorney, accountant, or financial advisor. Um, 
because I'm not responsible for any action taken based uh, on this information. And as I said, remember, you have to work to build any business. Thank you for watching and uh, take care.